So President Trump um, has now lashed out at George W. Bush because George W. Bush took some shots um, at Trumpists over January 6th. This is in the Hill here. Let me read this to you. Quote, so interesting to watch our former President Bush, who is responsible for getting us into the quicksand of the Middle East and then not winning as he lectures us that terrorists on the right are a bigger problem than those from foreign countries that hate America and that are pouring into our country right now. Trump said in a statement distributed by Save America PAC, if that is so, why was he willing to spend trillions of dollars and be responsible for the death of perhaps millions of people? He shouldn't be lecturing us about anything, he added. Trump noted that the Twin Towers came down, came down during his watch, and said Bush led a failed and uninspiring presidency. He shouldn't be lecturing anybody, Trump said. So yet again, think of the Onion article, worst person you know made a good point. Yeah, I mean, he's right about this. Now, uh, of course, where Trump is wrong is, you know, he's dodging the reality that the people who were there on January 6th, basically doing a riot, um, they're no angels. They're no saints. Uh, you know, they're not, these are just patriots who want the good things for the country. No, they are absolutely brainwashed by One American News Network and Newsmax and Fox News and you, and they thought the election was stolen, so they were willing to uh, really do some damage in order to try to um, right the wrong. But that's exactly the problem, is it's bullshit. The election was not stolen. Um, I think Trump probably at one point did know it wasn't stolen, but now he's probably convinced himself of his own, own nonsense. And, um, you know, do a lot of people there have a lot of real problems that need to be addressed? Yes, of course. You know, I'm, I want right-wingers to live in a country that cares about everybody as well and gives them health care and gives them higher wages and all that stuff, for sure. Um, but it's also the case that this is not a rational reaction to being oppressed and downtrodden. And also, some of the people at the Capitol riot were not oppressed and downtrodden. They were relatively well off, and there was a bunch of reporting on that as well. So sometimes brainwashing is just brainwashing, and a lot of these people were brainwashed. And so they are willing to do violence for political reasons for political causes. There's a term for that. When you're willing to do violence for politics or religion, that's terrorism. Now, it's a different degree of terrorism from somebody who's beheading somebody, you're flying a plane into a building, of course, um, but I don't care if you're offended at the idea that that is the definition of terrorism, because it is that. To do a little twist on Ben Shapiro is saying, definitions don't care about your feelings. <laughs> and and it's it's true that this is some level, one level or another of terrorism if you are doing violence in order to promote your political ideology. They did that. So I have no sympathy and no love for um, the people who were there. Trump obviously to some extent does because he feels like they were fighting for him. Um, so on that point, Bush is correct. But on this point, Trump is correct. That George W. Bush, th that's the problem here. George W. Bush lecturing about that is like, Dude, you are the extremist. You are the problem. You brought us torture. You brought us illegal wars. You threw out due process and habeas corpus. You ripped up the Constitution. You spied on everybody illegally. Like, you're in no position to lecture anybody about anything. That's true. And Trump is right that you got us in the Middle East. You got us in the Middle East. So, I mean, I guess you could say Trump is right here to criticize Bush. Say, nobody cares about what you have to say, dog. You're the problem. True. But I would also say, I don't care what Trump says either, because you're also a different kind of problem. You know? And you kept the wars going, even though you did the rhetoric of we should end them. Um, we, it was, Biden had to officially end the Afghanistan war, and um, we're still in Iraq, and we were in Iraq under Trump, and he went into Syria, so... You know, it's, it's that cuck mindset of like, you got us in! If only if I was in a position to do something about it. You were, and you didn't do anything. So, I don't want to hear from Trump. I don't want to hear from W. Bush. Um, they're arguing over who's the tallest kid in kindergarten, effectively. 